Hey, what's up, guys? It's Uber Hybrid, and I am very excited about this episode. So I went ahead, got the Sky Castle Mansion Estate, cleared 10 out of 11 trees. So I saved this last one for you guys. Uh, so yeah, let's just quickly finish this, and we should be good. Um, so this episode, uh, we're gonna go ahead and finish this house. And we're also going to get Colin as a Jimbo, something I've been putting off for a while. And we're going to spend our ultra rare golden gift box. Um, so this probably won't be as long of a uh, Let's Play um, video. But I'm excited to tell you guys that after this, I will be starting the AQ 10th Anniversary questline. And personally, that is my favorite questline in this game. Um, I remember when it came out, I played it over and over and then the challenge mode um at the time uh i had difficulty with so here we go we got the sky castle mansion state i think i need to get the museum um where's this thing oh, i'm not high level museum oh yeah i'm not high enough level um whatever i'll figure that out later um so for those who don't have this house, this is this gives you 20 extra item slots, which is absolutely phenomenal. Um, definitely recommend it if you have the tokens. There's no reason not to get it. Uh, 20 slots is a lot. <clears throat> Here's a grand, and then you can use this. King Song. It just looks so cool. And then you got this room. You take more potions. Fill up your potion slots. Uh, so yeah. Let me know if you guys want me to do any estate farming. I've never done it because I don't really feel like spending the tokens for it. Um, but yeah. Oh yeah. We're going to spend our ultra rare golden gift box on something. Um, what if I get an ultra rare from this? No, okay. That was too hopeful. So we'll go ahead and get the aqua bot. Now, uh... This is recommended, um, and I believe this is the right choice. It is the best water pet in the game, and I honestly just wanted to spend it, and it'll help me out so much because uh, I really don't want to wait for a good water pet. When Blarney, um, Snuggle Fest, and a bunch of others kind of come back, uh, all those seasonal items... Um, what, what do I do here? Skip the cuts. Burp War. Huh. I think it's 2012. Yeah. Blarney has like all the best. Um, these are high level. All the best. Not just Blarney. All the seasonal ones have the best gear, I want to say. Or pets and guests. And even uh, 100 proc ranged weapons. So I'm going to have to wait. And see about those. I don't have wind right now. Kind of annoying. But we'll try out the Aquabot. Just because it looks so cool. So click to have your Aquabot activates overdrive. Cost 7 SP per turn. I think there's also a hyper overdrive option. But I'm not sure. Uh, okay, there we go. So where do I click? So you click it twice. There we go. <laughs> yeah, so we'll give it the shot caller, and we'll also wind, huh? What do I have for wind? It's kind of unfortunate. Okay. Um, we're not too concerned about the damage, right? We might be. Uh, where is this? This is earth, and I can just use the this shield. We're fine. So we just need to do wind damage. Nice. And then we'll do slice and dice because that's wind. And we'll see what this water bot does. Yeah. <laughs> this is such a good pet. And it scales to my level, so I don't have to upgrade it, which is really convenient. Um, I'm thinking about getting the fire bot as well, which also requires a golden gift box. But the problem with that is it costs another ultra rare. Uh, and I do have the underwormling. I'm not sure if um, Nec 
Cracker neck neck or afterlife exagon or demon soul robot are good they're both dark i'm just trying to figure out what i should use for pets but if they're good um just let me know because i have no idea honestly damn look at my sp just dropped though definitely have to boost that again uh i definitely think SP skills better at later levels. Right now, I just have to use a lot because I have to upkeep a level 55. This is a level 55 item. Um, but once I get higher level, it won't be that expensive of an upkeep, hopefully. So you're dead here. Yep. Yeah, look how strong that is. Uh, for Samurat. Oh, nice. And this is water. Oh man, we'll just, uh, we'll have this guy do all the work for us. Oh, okay, so it's already in overdrive. Now we can use this. Uh, sadly, I don't really have anything. Um, I do have my Cephalonster though, and I do have Call Rubzard, and I'll use my Shot Collar. So I think the meta as well for Beastmaster is to just use defense. Wow, that's so powerful. Defensive uh, mists to lower your um, elemental modifiers. So I think eventually I'll have like, <clears throat> say 13% in one element and then minus 10% with the mist. So I'll literally be taking 3%. So this is a very defensive build. And I believe that is the way to play it, hopefully. Uh, what do I have for energy? Oh, yeah, of course. I'm um, not too concerned. I just... Energy, energy, energy. We'll just use this. Yeah, we're not too concerned at all about this guy. Yeah. Huh. That's pretty cool. Force field, laser bot. We'll just use this. So defensive mists are definitely going to be the meta. Um, when I do the AQ 10th anniversary, uh, things I'll be looking for Pendant of the Gallon, uh, Endurance, and Charisma Boost, um, which is huge for this build. And also, it'll open up the Queen High Bee farming spot for me, um, which will also be nice. Uh, obviously, I can't use the Horror Show Void Vanquisher set because... Uh, that requires me to go fully offensive, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> so, as you can see, I increased my... I trained my charisma quite a bit. So, my pets and guests should be way stronger than I am. Um, which is a good thing. Same you're at. Darkness. So, yeah, I don't think I want this episode to be too long. Uh, I think this is already the light version, right? Yeah, I don't need that, um, that armor. Like, this is the same thing as Nico Transformation, I believe. Which means I'm just wasting a slot. But, you know, whatever. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I need to upgrade this bow really bad. We can just use our Darkness Pet. We'll try this. And Bowmaster, because I don't want to use too much SP. Look at the damage on that. Yeah, I don't think this is that strong of a pet. Um, it is cool, though. We'll see Demon Soul Robot again. Yeah, I'm not doing any damage because this is like a level 15 item. I think the next upgrade is pretty far away. This one's actually not bad. Demon Soul Robot. But Necker after life gone is not that good. Yeah, this is like abysmal damage. So I'm going to have to switch. I'll go to my Bow of Judgment. Yeah, look at this pet. This pet's actually not bad. I'll admit. So I guess I'll sell or vault that. It is cool because I think uh, it is rare. I believe it is rare. Um, and... Afterlife X is one of the AQ uh, forum managers, or he does something that's really important. <laughs> so.
so oh my god it's kind of kind of annoying oh my god I hate getting stun locked it's just so annoying because I can't switch anything thank goodness Rubzard Rubzard go into my Aquabot I can equip my defensive gear. What's my energy? 82. Does this lower it? Yeah, it does. And shot collar and cephalauncher. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I really like this guest. And oh my god, Aquabot is just insane. I'm really impressed with Aquabot. Like, it really wants me to get the Firebot just because I know I'll have that um, super overdrive damage. But do I really need it if I have Underwormling? And I have to spend, like, on average, I'd say getting one Ultra Rare can take anywhere between <laughs> one gift box and, like, 300. It's so inconsistent. I feel like they need to add, like, a bad look protection. I know that's a thing in other games like World of Warcraft. I've played those and... For certain items, you have a bad luck protection. Um, so if you constantly grind for something, you're not just relying on luck, which is a good thing. Because that becomes super stale. Um, I guess I can just keep you in here. Is it Earth? Yeah, we can just go Nico. Nico. Wind. And shot color. Slice and dice. <laughs> so much damage. So yeah, I won't be uh, grinding too hard. I'm already level 36, which is pretty good progress. Oh yeah. Uh, this Cyber Shogun armor used to be my favorite armor just because, like... The armor skill and everything. I hope I don't kill him too fast so that you can actually see it. Like, the attack is super sick. It's just a jab. Um, it would have been one of the best energy armors. I think it does scale with your weapon. So you could use something like Zealot's Wrath. But the, the problem with the armor is it's a one-hit attack. And I think the max level is only 141. So it's Zed tokens and it will become 151 power level. It's not quite max level, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, let's see. And we'll give it the shot collar. And yeah, he'll do his armor skill, which is super sick. He just puts the lance into the ground and electrocutes everything. Uh, it was one of my favorite armor skills back in the day. Too bad, uh, too bad the attack isn't that great. Um, yeah, back then it was all about <laughs> pressing attack and using armor skills when you needed to finish off an opponent. Nowadays, you just armor skill, armor skill. So it's not meta, but it's something cool. I would use it if I uh, just, if Poe Mages and Dynamis Warriors weren't a thing, but they are, so it's unfortunate. Yeah, that's a ton of damage on me, though. But he's dead. And now we can finally get Nezajimbo, which I've been putting off for so long. Oh, here we go. I can't wait, because this is one of the best guests. So, obviously, you can get the Drill Dance, which is what he was using. Uh, level 147. Cyber Shogun 141. Yep, I was right. Um, yeah, I just love that armor, but obviously I can't get it. There's a bunch of shields, and here we are, Nezujimbo. Contract. And we'll get this one. Let's just rearrange. Call Nezujimbo contract, save sort order. Okay. And yeah, I guess that'll conclude this episode. Um, we got our house done, we got Nizajimbo, and 
we're pretty much set actually we don't have that many things left to get uh obviously misc items but next episode and it will definitely be more than one part because the whole quest line will take at least an hour or two probably more so it'll be the next few episodes will be the 10th anniversary which i'm really excited for i haven't played it in a while and it's something that i've played so many times um like i said it's my favorite quest line so let me know what you guys think um but yeah that's all for today see you guys in the next one peace